Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for another Mini Madness update for May. I can't, I can't believe it. But here we are. If you're unfamiliar with Mini Madness, where have you been? This is my fourth update. This is a project that was started by Aura McGuire. Um, oops, wrong cookie is her channel, and I will have that channel linked up here and down below. There's also a Google Doc that has a uh, the information of everyone else who is participating in this challenge and basically what we're trying to do is finish off our mini makeup items that's it this is a rolling project so every time we finish something we add another product i finished a few items this month and i'm actually removing two items that i just i just don't love so there's gonna be some changes this month if you guys want to see my progress and the products i finished and i'm adding in then just keep watching The things that I finished, I finished a little sample of the It Cosmetics 5 by Pores Pressed Powder. It's totes empty. I did like this powder. I repurchased a full size during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I really do, I really do like this powder. It's a very finely milled powder. It doesn't leave a white cast. And I think it helps minimize pores. I mean, nothing, nothing minimizes my pores like I want them to. But it definitely does help. And I was... I enjoy using it, so I was glad to finish that guy. Next item is from Butter London, and this technically isn't a mini, but I put it in the intro, and then as I was editing the video, I was like, that's a mini, idiot. That's a full-size product. It's just small. <laughs> but anyway, and I finished it. This is the Butter London On The Glow pen in white gold, and it has this little, like, sponge tip. There's, like, a little product in here. It's very white gold. So there's, I guess, a little bit left. The product is down in here, and you just tamp your little your little situation in there. It was sort of a creamy texture. It wasn't a powder. It was sort of in between a cream and powder. I don't think I would repurchase this just because this application is this applicator is not my favorite. But it was nice to use. I didn't have any complaints about it. I just I wouldn't repurchase it simply for how you need to apply the product. And then a mascara. This is the YSL Mascara Volume. That's all it says in English. So I do like this mascara. I would never purchase a full size for several reasons. They're not cruelty free. It's outrageous. Mainly those two reasons. But I did like it while I use it. I like the wand. It has a natural bristle brush. It's a nice wide but not humongous and overwhelming wand to use. I did like it. I don't know if this is because this is a mini or maybe this is just older. This did dry out very quickly. Um, so if that is how it is supposed to function, then I would also not purchase it again because I don't even know how much a YSL mascara is, but probably a lot. I do have a product that I have a progress on. Last month I said, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh well, yes, I was. I forgot this. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. And uh, when I started, I was at this top line, and then last month after I realized what I was forgetting, I did measure it, and I was at this red line in the middle, and I'm currently down here at this bottom line. This is a really intense highlight, but it's also a really pretty eyeshadow. I use this as an eyeshadow topper, especially when I'm wearing very neutral makeup, and then I just get bored with that, so I just put a little bit of this on my eyelid, and it is really pretty. I would not purchase a full size of this for an eyeshadow topper. It's pretty as a highlight, but it is like it's intense. It's like a one drop. I just I just touched the dropper to my hand. I mean, it is it is an intense highlight, and it's very. It, it shears out, or it blends out to be very white, like white gold. Um, and in here, it looks more champagne colored, so, I don't know. I do like this product, but it's a dose. I'm going to be removing two products. The Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip. I don't know what it is. Something about the scent of this, I just, I just cannot. It kind of smells like licorice, and I just, I just can't. It's, 
I've worn it several times and the color is okay. This is a little bit thicker consistency that I feel is terribly comfortable to wear also. So I don't love this and I'm gonna remove this guy because just, I'm just not gonna force myself to use something I don't like or that I dislike more than I like. There's no point. It's just makeup. There's no point. The next item that I'm removing is a little mini Kat Von D studded lipstick. This is in the color Lolita. And this is a really pretty color, but every time I wear this, it just feels so dry and so... It almost feels chunky. So I think this is just probably very old. I've used other Seven Kiss lipsticks in the past, and they do not feel like this. So I think that this is just old. I got it at iMats almost two years ago. So it's time to go. Okay, so I've taken out five things. So I gotta add five things back in. Holy moly. I have my tray of, I just put all my mini makeup products in here. Seems like a good idea, I don't know. This is the Julep Length Matters Mascara. I've never used this. Oh, I'm gonna hate this wand, I can tell you. It's a very thin plastic bristle brush. I'm not gonna like this one. It looks like there's no bristles, but whatever, I'll try it. Let's add this Too Faced Peach, Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This has the cutest little peach on it that you've ever seen. Oof, this smells super, oh, that's pretty, super fake candy peachish, but we'll add that guy in. This is a Bare Minerals Round the Clock 5 a.m. eyeliner. It's a white gold. I don't know. It's really pretty. We'll add this guy in. That was first swatch. It's Buxom Full on Lip Cream in White Russian. And what else? One more thing. Let's add this guy. This ult. Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in SPL. This is really pretty. It's very iridescent. There's a lot of pink and blue like, glitter shimmer in it. And that is my update. If you guys are following along with this project or if you're doing this project yourself, let me know how your progress is going. Be sure to check out the other people that are in the, the link in the description box. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.